All right, so today we are doing a sequence that can be done a few different times. Uh, we are going to start with a little bit of flow, so starting with a nice big deep inhale, um, your plank, your upward, your downward facing dog. Remember that any time that you're doing one of these workouts, one of these sets, uh, be mindful of the body, uh, do what you can, do what feels good. So make modifications as needed. In between the HIT training and the strengthening training, we're going to be doing the same routine, uh, doing that high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, and then doing warrior or two to reverse warrior, uh, and then uh, back through that same design in between the hits. So I'm going to do like one full set in this series. Um, this day I did four. And I was just hanging out in Sequoia National Park camping and I needed a good workout uh, and I got four of these in. So that was really nice. Uh, four of these should bring you to about, let's say, 28, 30 minutes. Okay, so we're going to start with some squats. I did weighted squats. Uh, those are 10 pound weights each. Um, it's what I have. <laughs> so it's what I'm using. Uh, you could use just about anything. So really using the strength of the body, really getting into a nice form uh, with your squats, engaging with all parts of the feet, uh, squeezing the glutes, right? opening up the hips uh, with each with each squat. And then we're going to work into shoulder press. So I did the shoulder press on the knees today. You could do it on your feet. Uh, shoulder press, pulling the belly button back towards the spine. That is why I like it on the knees. Um, elbows reaching out, weights reaching up. Uh, feels really great. Get the body moving. Um, if this is, if 10 pound weights are too much, you can use five. Uh, or even just starting with the first set uh, without the weights just to get the warm up. Um, that would be okay too. From here, we're going to go to a tricep extension. So just using one weight for this one for me. Uh, once again, working with the form, working with connecting with the entire body. So my background is yoga, uh, and I like to use my yoga in all my fitness. So whether it's I'm weightlifting or I'm working out in a hit style way or I'm running, I use my breath. I use the intention uh, I set of strengthening the muscles um, each each time. From here, we're going to go into a little bit of a cardio series. Uh, so we're going to do jumping jacks, uh, butt kickers, and high knees in this series. Uh, I did 50 of each, so 50 full jumping jacks, 50 butt kickers, uh, and 50 high knees. And that'll get you nice and warm. Uh, so this is also a great warm-up if you just do this and you don't uh, do multiple sets. This would be a good warm-up to a workout. It would be a good wake-up. Um, I'm a firm believer in movement at all. So even if you could only fit in one set for the day, uh, yeah, just do it. You know, you might as well. You're going to get the body moving. It's going to keep you in your routines, right? It doesn't always mean that you're going to um, do a full workout, but at least you still made it to the gym. You still made it to um, your mat, however, uh, whatever you're doing, uh, and that's going to keep you in those routines. So I'm traveling here, right? You I need the I need the routine. I need to keep my routines. It's easy to get out of them. Uh, there's a lot of distractions. There's a lot of other things to do, um, but keeping moving makes me feel the happiest. So even if I fall out of those routines, it's uh, getting back into them. And how am I going to maintain them uh, throughout this process? So some high knees here. I like to keep good form as well. Uh, I think the high knees is great for the lower abdominal muscles. So you're getting into that area too. Anytime I'm jostling the body, I'm also focusing on moving energy through my body. So I'm still using those yoga principles. And then here's that little um, intermediate sort of flow posture. Uh, I'm going to add a little plank in here for the core, uh, knee to elbow, knee to elbow, hips are low, abdomen is reaching back towards the spine, right? Always pulling the belly button back to really engage the abs and keep the abdominal muscles uh, from protruding and really working to create lean abdominal muscles. And using the breath uh, and feeling into the posture. And at this point, even though that was short, it's only been five minutes, you're starting to feel that warm up. You're starting to actually feel um, the postures. You're starting to feel what's going on. And then moving right back into the flow, downward facing dog. 
reaching one leg up, sending that leg forward, right into that warrior, warrior two, reverse warrior. And then flowing back down, using the breath here. So these flows in between the cardio and between the hit, um, they slow your heart rate back down. And I did two sets on this side, I think, because I did the wrong leg. <laughs> so I just did an extra two on each side. Uh, no big deal. That happens. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, f use the flows to get you through. So I, I'm doing these series that I'm, I'm posting. I'll probably post a bunch of different um, workout sets and different ways that I, I work out. Um, but I really like the style where you use kind of your yoga flow or your vinyasa flow in between uh, your sets, in between some cardio, in between a hit set, in between some calisthenics. You're still getting the stretches, you're getting the movement, and you're keeping the body moving, and you're using that little space uh to slow down to give yourself uh, a little time to get the breath and the and the heart rate to go down and that's what i have for you today enjoy